The 2022 Eurovision Song Contest is presented by Moroccan Oil. over ceremony and official allocation draw of the 66th Eurovision Song Contest. Please welcome the hosts of today's ceremony, Carolina Di Domenico and Mario Acampa. Hello Europe, ciao Italia. Welcome to the formal handover ceremony and allocation draw for the 66th Eurovision Song Contest. It's the official start of Eurovision 2022 and we are very proud to be here. Yes, we are. We are broadcasting live from Palazzo Madama in Turin, which was uh, the first senate of the Kingdom of Italy and now is the home of the Turin City Museum of Ancient Art. It was a large collection, as you can see a little bit, uh, uh, ranges mostly from the late Middle Ages to the 18th century. And we are very proud to explain the meaning of our slogan for the 2022 Eurovision Song Contest, which is the sound of beauty, in a venue whose mission is to display history, art and beauty. And as a matter of fact, throughout the centuries, Italian history and culture have contributed greatly to shape the global concept of beauty. <laughs> Thank you, Mario, but we are here for this special event, and in the next hour we will discover which of the two semi-finals each country will compete in. The semi-finals are going to take place here at our Pala Olimpico on May 10th and 12th, and the big night, the grand finale, will take place on Saturday, May 14th. So the main question now is, from the 41 participating countries, who will deliver the new Moneskin? And so up until last May, Italy had won just twice. The first time in 1964, it was the singer Gigliola Cinquetti, and you can see it right now. And then 26 years later, in 1990, it was our Toto Cutugno who raised the trophy by celebrating in its song the fall of the Berlin Wall and the hope for a new and united Europe. And after that, we had to wait a long time. <laughs> but it was quite rewarding. So That's true. now let's have a look to the glorious journey of our new rock and roll heroes, Moneskin. Let's open up for the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. Let's open up to Italy. Moneskin. <laughs> vincere il festival della canzone italiana sono i Maneschi! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> give me the flag, Carolina. No, uh, uh, give, give me, gi huh? give me the, yeah. the elbow. Could yeah, that's safer. Yeah. <laughs> and we would like to, to take a moment in this moment to say hello to Gabriele Corsi, who should have been today with us, uh, and Cristiano Malgioglio. Hi, guys. Both were the Italian commentators during the 2021 Eurovision Sun Contest, and we'll be doing that very important role again this May. But let's move on, because after Naples in the 1960s and Rome in the 1990s, we are heading north, because today the city of Rotterdam officially hands over the Eurovision baton to the city where modern Italy was born, Torino. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to have here today the mayor of Rotterdam, Mr. Ahmed Abu Taleb. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, welcome. Mr. Abu Taleb. Welcome to Turin. Thank you. Your contestant, Duncan Lawrence, has put the Netherlands once again on the Sun Contest map. You waited over 40 years to host the contest again, and uh, somehow you kept it for two years in a row. So what kind of challenge was that? A big challenge. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's a big challenge for the city, for the citizens, for the volunteers, uh, for all of us, for the contesters, for the participants, it was a big challenge because you want to win. If you yeah. come to participate, you want to win. And at least you reach the finals, at least. So there was a, a challenge that we organized the event, a big event during COVID. Tough restrictions. Uh, we had been in a completely lockdown. But nevertheless, um, for the 230 million spectators all over the world, it was a big festival on television. So that is really a, a beautiful thing to organize. Suddenly, we weren't able to be there, but we enjoyed the strength and the impact of the city's involvement in the show. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and we have a lot of local touring officials with us today, so if you had some friendly advice <laughs> to Torino, to Italy, what would you suggest? <laughs> uh, I brought with, you, with me three old advisors. Okay. The first one is um, work together. The second one is um, probably work together. Ah, okay. And the third one is... Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm a mind reader. It's a work, work together. together. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. So fantastic. That, uh, <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's uh, it's for, for the city, for the citizens, for the volunteers, how to show your city to the world as an icon. And you have an icon to show to the world. And for the mayor, Stefano, it's hard work, boy. It's budgets, it's budgets, it's budgets. <laughs> okay. It's safety, it's security, it's being the host. Big guy, and I think in collaboration with the right television will be a nice show. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Abutaleb. But now it's time for us to do our important job, please. Yes, of course, Carolina. We are now ready for the Insignia Exchange Ceremony. Wow. That's it. Almost. That's great. Yeah. Tell us something more about it. Well, it's, uh, you know, Rotterdam has been unfortunately bombarded during the war. So we have a completely new downtown. Um, so this stands for uh, the recovery of the city, the rebuilding of the city, the port, 40 kilometers of port, and a shovel that stands for hard work. Stefano, hard work to, <laughs> to, to do the best job uh, to organize big events, for instance, but also to rebuild the city. So it stands for innovation. Cool. That's fantastic. Wow. So go ahead. Yes, it's putting now the key. It's green, like the hope for better times. <laughs> And now, we're ready for the ceremony, so please let us introduce you to the Mayor of Torino, Mr. Stefano Lorusso. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. We are very honored to be the host city of the 2022 edition of the Eurovision Song Contest and the whole community the whole community together <laughs> is happy to be part of this uh, amazing European music event. Yeah, and uh, uh, this was a very important and special uh, tradition uh, for us, the one that we uh, did with uh, uh, Mr. Abudaleb, with the insignia, because uh, this was started by the city of Helsinki in 2007, and then every host city has had its own personal touch, as Mr. Abudaleb did. So many visitors coming to Turin by plane over the next few months will have the chance to admire this beautiful and unique artifact at the Torino Caselle Airport. I'll write it down. Uh, guys, it, was, it weighs more than 30 kilos. Yeah? 
Yeah, uh, they say it's getting more weight year after year. <laughs> so please go ahead and add your uh, insignia. Yeah, now. Yeah, okay. And uh, so we got it already, so it's okay, guys. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Bozalev. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Bozalev. Okay, so now, Mr. LaRusso, it's a very special moment because your city, that it's my city too, actually, oh, because wow. I come from Torino, so yes. I'm quite proud of it. It's officially... Me too. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's fantastic. It's a, a officially the Eurovision city of the Eurovision Song Contest 2022. And so we're broadcasting live right now from your Palazzo Madama. And how do you feel now? Oh, I'm really, I'm really pleased to be here with you today. I would like uh, to thank all the people that work uh, in the last month to permit this special event. So thank you very much to everybody. I'm really, really fine, thanks. Uh, Torino uh, is a really beautiful city, it's full of energy, and uh, as you can see from this venue, we are really ready to welcome Eurovision uh, enthusiastic audience and the 41 participating uh, countries. Welcome. Okay, the cities of Rotterdam and uh, Turing also are twinning city, twinning city because uh, it all happened way back in the 50s when a lot of European values uh, were starting to, to grow. And to heal the wounds of uh, World War II, many countries uh, bound their ideals and perspectives. Furthermore, in music and uh, television, with the birth of Eurovision Sun Contest, something similar happened. And today, more than 60 years later, we are all here. So our uh, strength is unity, our common history is made up of uh, conflict and division, but uh, today we are here to remember the spirit and uh, the values of our forefathers. Italy is one of the founding countries of the European Union, and in the small Italian island of Ventotene, is really nice, in the Tyrrhenian Sea, Altiero Spinelli and uh, Ernesto Rossi wrote the founding test of our union. Uh, I would like to uh, take the occasion uh, to remember another important European leader that uh, we recently lost, which is the President David Sassoli. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I believe that is our specific uh, commitment as mayors is to enhance those values and uh, the sense of the original project of the European Union. At the time, it was a dream. Today, it is a reality. Uh, we must thank all the people who worked for, to find an antidote to the nationalism uh, that poisoned Europe in the past century. Uh, in this sense, uh, we, uh, the major of Rotterdam and uh, Torino, are united and have a common belief. We both want a stronger, unified Europe. Of course, many will arrive, uh, some will go straight to the venue, other, others will explore and enjoy the city, so all of them, I'm sure, will appreciate uh, the beauty, the history, uh, the hospitality of our city, of Torino. So, did we, did we forget anything? But uh, Torino <laughs> will surprise you with the beauty of its uh, architecture and its food and drink excellence. We also uh, are a city of rivers, parks and important museums. Uh, with a unique uh, cultural heritage. Uh, so I uh, invite you to visit them and uh, I am convinced that you will be surprised. Uh, Torino is a city that uh, to be discovered by walking and uh, is also a green way to discover the city <laughs> because we have miles of arcades. So spark your curiosity and you will discover beautiful spots. So enjoy your stay. Thank you. Thank you. But now Mr. Russo. We would like to give you the opportunity to be the best and the fastest tour guide ever because uh, you know that uh, we know that you prepared with your staff a video for anyone who will have the opportunity uh, to come to Turin and uh, to enjoy your vision 2022 where it happens. So here in Turin, let's have a look.
so thank you very much. We thank wish you very much. Every success. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank Mr. Russell. Thank, thank, thank you. In a few moments, please. Make yourself comfortable. In a few moments, we will begin uh, the draw that will decide the semi-final where each participating country will compete. But first, we would like to acknowledge uh, Mrs. Marinella Soldi, chairwoman of RAI, who is also joining us today. So, thank you so much. It's lovely to see you here with us. And now, please, uh, let us introduce some key people for this year's event. Dr. Frank Dieter Feiling, Chairman of the Eurovision Song Contest Reference Group. Buongiorno. Mrs. Simona Martorelli and Mr. Claudio Fasulo, Executive Producers for Turing 2022. And Mr. Thomas Niedermeyer from Digame, Voting Supervisor of the Eurovision Song Contest. Thank you for being here. From all aboard to Dare to Dream and uh, up to open up, every year of Eurovision Song Contest has had its own uh, theme slogan. And yes, after weeks of intensive meetings and brainstorming, we have uh, our slogan uh, for Eurovision uh, 2022, which is the sound of beauty, which has many interpretations. We will share the beauty of our country in every aspect of the show, between, uh, I mean, and making it the link uh, between every editorial, artistic and aesthetic choice. So let's have a look. Everything is now ready to begin the official allocation draw of the 66th Eurovision Sun Contest. 41 countries will be participating in this year Eurovision. There will be two semi-finals, which will take place, as we said before, on the 10th and 12th of May. From each semi-final, 10 countries will qualify to compete a couple of days later uh, in the grand final uh, on Saturday, May 14th. Five countries have already qualified for the grand final. France. Germany, Italy, Spain, and the United Kingdom. They're called the Big Five. These countries will still broadcast and vote in one of the two semifinals. So we will now start the draw with these countries in order, in order to, to know which semifinal they will vote in. It's now time to decide the allocation of the Big Five countries in the semifinals of the Eurovision Song Contest 2022. So finally for them, the moment of the truth. <laughs> and uh, because the number of the Big Five is uneven, the uh, Oster Broadcasting Company and the European Broadcasting Union have decided that two countries will vote in the first semi-final and three in the second one. This has been authorized by the reference group of the Eurovision Song Contest. Are we ready? Yes, we are. I got okay. five envelopes right here containing the names of the big five countries. And Carolina, you got five envelopes containing uh, the allocations. So now let's start. Why don't we start by giving a little shuffle? Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, oh. shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Let's have more. More. Oh. 
I think that's okay, enough. Okay, that's enough. I think enough. that's enough. 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 <laughs> you start. I start. So the first country is United Kingdom. And United Kingdom will vote in the second semi-final. The second country. Second country is France. And France will vote in the first semi-final. Okay, so now the third country is Italy. And Italy will vote in the first semi-final. Two more to go. So. <laughs> Ready for the fourth? Fourth country is Spain. Spain will vote in the second semi-final. Well, now, fifth country, it's not going to be much of a surprise, no. but <laughs> the ceremony is a ceremony, so. Germany. Germany. We'll vote in the second semi-final. Great. And that concludes the first phase of the draw. So let's have a quick recap. We have for the first semi-final France and Italy. For the second one, United Kingdom, Spain and Germany. Yes, and that will be on the 12th of May. So the first five countries have been decided. So now let's move on the phase two of the draw allocate, uh, uh, to allocate the remaining 36 countries participants. Yes, but before we move on, uh, I have to ask a very important question to Dr. Freiling. So Dr. Freiling, do you have any special requests from any of the participating countries that are about to be drawn? Once there are none, so you're good to go. Ah, oh, good to go. Thank you so much, Dr. Freiling. So now let's explain how this works. Um, in front of us, we have six glass balls uh, with the names uh, of the remaining 36 countries divided into them. First, we will draw a country out of ball number one. After that, out another one, out ball number two. And then continue on to ball number six. These six countries will be in the first semi-final. And then we will repeat the process from ball one to ball six for the second semi-final, and again from ball one to ball six for the first semi-final again, and we will steadily work through all the balls and the names until every country has been allocated a place. Yeah, it sounds complicated, but it's not. It's not. We promise. <laughs> In each ball, there are six countries, and they have been allocated uh, their respective balls based on the voting patterns of the last 15 years. This makes the outcome more Predictable. We have uh, two more balls over there, as you can see, and uh, we will draw there not only uh, the semi-final uh, in which each country will compete in, but also in which half of the semi-final. Those countries uh, which perform in the first half of each semi-finals shall travel to the host city one day earlier for rehearsals. Okay, so now it's a pleasure to say let's begin the allocation draw of the 66 Eurovision Song Contest. So, I will pick up a country from ball number one for the first semi-final. And this country is... Albania. Albania will perform in the first half of the first semi-final. The next country from the second ball is... Norway. Norway will perform on the second half of the first semi-final. From the third ball, Russia. Russia 
will perform. On the second half of the first semifinal. Fourth ball. Portugal. Portugal will perform on the second half of the first semi-final. And now the fifth ball. Latvia. Latvia will perform on the first half of the first semi-final. Six and last ball. Switzerland. Switzerland will perform on the first half of the first semi final. Okay, let's go back to the ball number one for the second semi final. Second semi final for. Montenegro. Montenegro will perform on the second half of the second semi final. Ball number two. Second semi final for Australia. Australia will perform. The first half of the second semi final. The next country will be Georgia. Georgia will perform the first half of the second semi final. Cyprus will perform on the first off of the second semi final. Romania. Romania will perform on the second off of the second semi final. See the country from ball number six. Yes. Czech Republic. Czech Republic will perform on the second half of the second semi final. So let's move again to yes. ball number one for the first semi final. I'm again. changing the ball. Slovenia. Slovenia will perform on the first off of the first semi final. Next country will be Denmark. Denmark will perform on the second off of the first semi final. From the third ball, we have Armenia. Armenia won the last junior Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, I was the Italian comment uh, commentator, so I remember it well. We're performing the second half of the first semi final. See the country from the fourth ball. Bulgaria. Bulgaria will perform on 
the first half of the first semi-final. Now it's the third of Moldova. Moldova will perform in the first half of the first semi-final. The next country will be Austria. Austria will perform the second half of the first semi-final. Okay, we are halfway now. I'm going back to I'm at the pool number one. We see. We'll see. We'll see. Serbia. So Serbia will perform in the first half of the second semi-final. Finland Finland will perform the first half of the second semi-final Let's discover the country from ball number six number three, sorry Azerbaijan Azerbaijan will perform the first in the first half of the second semi-final. Ball number four. San Marino. San Marino, our neighbors, <laughs> will perform in the first half of the second semi-final. Number five, Poland. Poland will perform in the second half of the second semi final. Ball number six, Belgium. Belgium will perform. The second half of the second semi final. So, first semi final again for. Black. Okay. Croatia. Croatia will perform in the second half of the first semi final. Second ball for semi final for Iceland. Iceland will perform the second half of the first semi final. Let's discover the next country Ukraine. Ukraine will perform. The first half of the first semi final. Out from ball number four, we have Greece. Greece will perform in the second half of the first semi final. Number five, Lithuania. Lithuania will perform in the first half of the first semi final. From the sixth ball, we have Netherlands. Netherlands, uh, last host country. Perform in the first half of the first semi final. So now it's easy to guess, but we have to follow the procedure. 
We have now one country per ball, which perform in the second semi-final. Next country is... North Macedonia. North Macedonia will perform in the second half of the second semi-final. Last country from world number two. Sweden. Sweden. Will they give us a new APA? Who knew? <laughs> Who knows? Second half of the second semi-final. From the third ball, the last country is... Israel. Israel will perform in the first half of the second semi-final. We all remember Netta. <laughs> Football, last country, Malta. Malta will perform in the first half of the second semi-final. Last country from world number five. Estonia. Estonia will perform in the second half of the second semi-final. And last but not least, the 18th country of the second semi-final is Ireland. Ireland. A well performed in the second half of the second semi final. Well, that's it. The drone is complete, so let's have a quick look at the draw result from both semi finals. Yes, uh, here we once have. again is the lineup of the first semi final which will take place on Tuesday, May 10th. So from the first half of the first semi-final, we'll compete Albania, Latvia, Switzerland, Slovenia, Bulgaria, Moldova, Ukraine, Lithuania, Netherlands. And then? And then. Uh, so we'll perform in the second half of the first semi-final. <laughs> oh, no, that's missing something. Okay. No, we, no. we need the, the okay. second okay. half of the first semi-final, please. Okay. So we can read the it. second half of the first semi-final. It's gone. Yeah. Could we have the second half of the first semi-final? It's not easy, we know, but... Okay. 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 Norway, Russia, Portugal, Denmark, Armenia, Austria, Croatia, Iceland and Greece. Okay, so the first semi-final will take place on the 10th of May. Let's move on to the second semi-final, first half. We'll have Australia, Georgia, Cyprus, Serbia, Finland, Azerbaijan, San Marino, Israel and Malta. And then Montenegro, Romania, Czech Republic, Poland, uh, Belgium, North Macedonia, Sweden, Estonia, Ireland. So and here we are, so the exact running order of each semi-final will be determined at a later time, as you know. Taking a good look at it, we should say that this promises to be a contest united through sound <laughs> and beauty. So thank you all for being here today and thank you for watching. Arrivederci a maggio! See you in May! Bye! Thank you! Ciao! Ciao!
The 2022 Eurovision Song Contest is presented by Moroccan Oil.